both characters with very good buttons. Ness just slightly faster in here with those buttons and very fast in here in terms of air speed. But let's see if Ness is going to make use of that here on the Pokemon Stadium 2. It is going to be Husk versus Black Mamba. Those PK fires very... <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, we are seeing some task bot action here. <laughs> I was warming up earlier playing with another uh, local Ness main, and we were just laughing at how every time we parry is accidental. That yeah. was not accidental. No, that, that, was, that was super intentional, but that's a scary sight to have that as your opener, just the triple parry on the forward there, and we see the damage slowly rising up for uh, Black Mamba here now. A good ledge situation here for us, but it's not going to be able to use it. That's stuck on the platform here, and Terry applying the pressure once the four, the side B, but is not able to get it. And now a crack shoot into the PK Thunder. Going to send him off stage, but the goal is now online. Yeah, the go meter is online, so we have to look out for power guys. They're just like that. And, uh, you know, Terry at the ledge is definitely super scary. You can contest with yeah. F-Tilt into that. Yeah, right. F-Tilt busts the wolf. And especially on PS2 with those closer blast zones to the side is such a scary stage for that Buster wolf. The first stock being taken by that, but Husk is not going to let that sit into his skin. It is going to be 143%. No yo-yo so far, actually, on the ledge. Could have been a, the, the stock there, but now Ness slowly trying to add the damage or get the KO back for once the Buster wolf goes right through the magnet, just raw putting it out there, and the upper is still not getting the KO. Black Bomba doing a good job of taking his, <laughs> this stock as far as they can, but just gets his hit by the raw neutral air out of shield. You gotta be careful with Ness out of yeah. shield. That back air, that neutral air, just so quick, and mm -hmm. it just really disrupts what you know your movement, where you're trying to go. And look at this! Mm -hmm. Putting Terry in disadvantage. Okay, good peek of to keep him there. Now Terry in the ground, no go in sight for a little bit now. And this is your position as Ness to shine. As you said, those great out of shield buttons, but in general, just these great buttons to keep Terry out from jumping in too hard. Jump, jump, power dunk. Oh, good as the falls out of it. It's just so hard to properly keep Ness in disadvantage with these fast buttons. Yeah, very much so. Ter Terry right now doing a great job of just trying to get Ness to, you know, make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Ness, as, as long as you could try not to... Ooh, good good yo-yo at the ledge. Look, as long as you try to not contest them mm -hmm. as often in the air and try to be looking out for those fast buttons, you could try to scoop under Ness. Yeah. And just like that, you're going to scoop it under. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the power doing such a, a nasty diagonal angle because with that airspeed, Ness usually wants to jump from that position into it, yeah. but the power guys are such a great answer here. We are continuing this go meters usage. We have 25%. You have to watch out. It's Pokemon Stadium. Ooh, wants to get it down there, but the upper is going to be such a great answer to that. Not getting the KO, but it's still enough to send Black Mamba in a dangerous position. Wants another Black uh, Power Guys, but it's not going to hit this time. Bustle of Gun Fruit forward there. Where the dash tag? Such a good usage, but oh. unfortunate SD, the air dodge. Super unfortunate. I was worried for Hus because just a raw Buster Wolf at the ledge is yeah. going to take away the stock. But now we're reset. We're back mm -hmm. in neutral trying to figure out how we can end this game. Okay, PK okay. fires on deck. <laughs> some some reads are being made, yes. I guess. Okay, gets in up there. Oh, Rolf wants to reset the situation, but doesn't quite continue it. And now it is going to be Husk again at a dangerous position at the ledge, but no go for Terry. Still the jab jab power down could be enough at the ledge, but first he needs to land a jab, actually. And Husk doing such a great job keeping Black Mamba out here with these aerials, and now the PK Fund is going to send him a high. Go is online, but still has to land, get off the platform. Yeah, it's tough to contest Ness's up air when you're when you're recovering from getting hit from uh, PK Thunder, but let's see what Hus does. Oh, okay, oh. we're stalling at ledge a little bit, and unfortunate SD there, and Black Mamba is gonna take game one. That was such a great recovery, actually. Yeah. It was such a, but sadly, this, that slight mishap there with the PK Thunder uh, is gonna not uh, allow Black Mamba to take game number one, gets the bump, and then. It is hard to see it because Pokemon Stadium is, is, <laughs> is blocking you very sadly. Yeah, there, there, there he goes. Poor guy. Rip. Uh oh. All right. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. All right. I was this. about to say someone needs to put a sad face there. <laughs> very sad. Very sad. Even I got mixed by that recovery. <laughs> yeah, same. Actually. I was like, wait a minute. How many? Uh, how many moves are we throwing out here before yeah. we make it back to the ledge? I, I usually have when they get that bump and they, they instantly peek uh, thunder again. I'm usually like, okay, they know what they're doing. But then yeah, suddenly, yeah. oh no, that that's like when when everything can go wrong. Okay, we have, uh, we got to go to battlefield actually. It seems another 
Uh, scary stage for Terry, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Um, that's what platforms is dangerous. That's sure. also the case. So both players really uh, benefiting from this stage choice. Game number two, it is gonna be Black Mamba up at the 1-0 for now. Let's see if Husk can make it back uh, this time. We'll take the game. Oh, it's gonna start with the combo. It was a very closely contested uh, game number one, and mm -hmm. I suspect that game number two will also be the same way. Both yep. players were adapting and, make, and making adjustments, and without that SD from Husk, it, it was, you know, arguably he could have turned mm -hmm. around the tides. It was um, one situation away. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so fun fact, since this is your first Xeno, uh, everything is best out of three. So even as we make it to top eight, okay, cool. grand finals, everything, everything is best of three. Ooh. So uh, Husk here fighting for their lives. Again, that up smash, so confident with the charge, but it's not gonna hit, sadly. Oh, PK Thunder, in situation. 71% on Black Mamba, 61 on the Musk here. Again, the PK Thunder, and now it is gonna be Black Mamba at the ledge again. We've, so, we've seen how much hu damage Husk can get here, but the PK Thunder is standing actually in a very fortunate direction for Black Mamba. Is able to get the go meter, but the good roll is gonna dodge the Power Geyser. And a great recovery from Black Mamba. I will say, Terry does a good job of avoiding PK Thunder at, you know, when he's recovering uh, from offstage, which a lot of characters struggle with. Um, so I, I love seeing, you know, the, the crack shoots, the burning knuckle to, to kind of contest it or avoid it. And there we go, Power Guys are just getting it done. Mm -hmm. The big stomp into the ground. Power guys are going to take care of Sock. Just like game number one. And it seems to be that Husk is having trouble with the Power Guys. A Bustle Wolf, not so much. But uh, right. Power Guys is such a menace. Gets the upper, and that is going to be the KO. 152%. These KOs have been landing so late for a character with as much kill power as Ness. Yeah, very true. And it's funny because you, you would think that, you know, with Terry having the go meter on deck, being able to rack up that extra damage mm -hmm. at the end of that first stock, but hey, you know what? No worries. I'm gonna still get you at 84% right now <laughs> and hit you with the raw F man. Oh, there's the yo-yo. Okay, gets him just out of the oh. invincibility frames on the rising tackle. Great okay. position here for Hoskins to continue the situation. 95% is gonna be the go online. Ooh, and still this advantage is still going. Husk really making work oh. of Black Mamba at this point. Hus doing a great job yep. here, taking care of uh, Terry off stage. All right, now Hus showing some life here. We might be taking it to a game three, everyone. Mm -hmm. It depends if Hus can stay in that great advantage state that they have put out here so far. Gets the peak of fire, oh, and we cool. seem to be going strong still. Catches every option that Black Mama wants to take in defensive positions, but now. Just the whiff, uh, the last hit of the upper whiffing is gonna catch Black Mama, uh, give Black Mama a break, but we're continuing instantly. So much pressure from Husk. Yeah, I really love Husk's utilization of. Ooh, oh my goodness! <laughs> you know what? I respect it, Black Mama, because when I played Terry for the first time, that's all I knew how to do with Power Guys. I still can't do Buster Wolf. So let it, let it roll. I respect the hell out of it. <laughs> Oh, okay, not gonna be the code. No, backer actually, surprisingly, but now is in the edge guard situation. No two that frames. Was so power risky. Guys here. Yep. Oh my goodness. We're just throwing them out there. It's as if Power Geyser has no end leg. Like, no. Just throwing it out. Buster Wolf could catch yeah. him the jump there, and that's very slow to get off the ground. And this is scary because 160% you would have faked just one more hit away, but it is going to be Terry with go. So he just needs one or two openings to completely annihilate your stock. Yeah, very, very scary situation. But Ness, with the, like we said, hitting those buttons out of shield, mm -hmm. going to become very useful there for Husk. And Husk taking uh, game two. We're going to a game three. Yeah, uh, that, that advantage stage stock two was in, immense. So crazy how long Black Mama was in this advantage that, yeah. uh, uh, that game. Uh, so that's, that's some great adaptation by Husk here. Means we have to go in a game number three, and this is, as Terry, your point to, to, to properly adapt to these buttons and uh, throw and see uh, which go moves work at this point. Absolutely. I think Husk uh, did a great job in yeah. game two not letting Terry get under him. Yeah. Husk was struggling with that, I feel, a little bit in game one, and that led to you, like, those Power Geyser kills. Yeah. Um, now in, in game two, just Husk was converting virtually everything. Mm -hmm. So let's see how things go. What stage are we at now? All right, back to PS2. Okay, okay. So we are back at the stage where Black Mama took game number one. It'll be reset, no good eye on the cover. It's gonna lead into the up nice That's 35% of cute conversion. Now, slowly but surely, the scrapping starts to begin, but it gets this point where both players, once they got a thing, they want to find a single hit to convert off. But of course, Terry having that very great jab 
almost safe on the shield, min minus seven, and able to convert into the power dunk. So strong. But now we see the percentage rising almost equally, I'd say. I was going to say, when are we going to start seeing some side magnet yeah. usage? And we just kind of saw it there by, by Husk. But uh, Husk doing a great job again, like he did in game two, keeping Black Mama in disadvantage. And let's see what the option is here. Yo, yo. All right. Up here. No double jump, though, for Terry. Okay, get back to the platform. Oh, yeah, and that's the serious situation What's I was talking about earlier with the up B on platform, but it whiffs barely. And then a great up smash by Husk. Going to take out that stock. Ooh. Oh, what's going to happen here? Okay, yeah, big punish. Just throwing out the raw of B, Black Mamba was. Just a, a misinput, maybe, of some sorts. Or just trying to see if they could utilize the get off me option. But, uh, all right, then we got. Yes. Oof. Didn't expect the angle. I think they expected them just to go back to the ledge. But yeah. very aggressive angle. That is going to be the, uh, the, the burn knuckle taking out the stock for uh, Black Mamba here. 69% on him. It is going to be a bit of a disadvantage to work from. But the goal meter almost being aligned should be enough to maybe kick it back into their gear. But currently, us sitting fresh at their second stock. No double jump, actually, for oh, Black Mama dodging that PK Thunder, but it's not going to be enough to come back to the stage. Excellent usage of the PK Thunder by Hus. You can just see Hus adapting. It, it just, you know, game one had to shake it off. It was a very, very close game one. A couple SDs there, but, you know, now in game three, really Hus is just, seems like just really getting the upper hand on Black Mamba, and this is looking like curtains, unfortunately. He gets the side. We still some life in Black Mamba. Gets another charge up. We've seen him only this game actually really being used to great effect. And now Nessa 130%. Oh, wants something at least to get him off the stage. What gets the burn knuckle max range strong input. And it is still going to be a KO. We are almost an equal gamer. And we are going to start seeing some converse for Terry. But not easy if he's off stage. Uses the double jump. But now Terry without a double jump having to recover against Ness. Is going to try and go safely back to the ledge. But the peak of thunder, peak of fire are going to be a lot of damage being added to Terry here. All right, what's the option here? Ooh, <laughs> oh, almost a Buster Wolf out of nowhere. I mean. If you have it, you gotta go, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to go for the up tilt into power, guys, but barely not working out. Yeah, again, actually, great wow. DI by Husk holding in, not letting him get the better view. Uh oh, 87%. We've seen this before. We did. I spoke too soon. I should have said curtains. <laughs> the commentator curse. Uh oh. Oh, almost armoring through the dash attack and getting the power guys out, but it's not gonna be enough. The oh, multiple good hits. Oh. What's the option? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, There's the punish. It is going to be him able to live. Terry still in the mix here. If it's been the legs, it's going for the yo-yo. Such a great play by Black Mamba here. Now having all the cards in hand to make this comeback, but he has to be careful. And that is going to be the case. Terry out with the dash attack. Great stuff by Husk here. Taking it 2-1 in their victory. Yeah, fantastic adaptation by Husk. Uh, good on both players. I yeah. mean, this was a fantastic display. Great way to kick off. The action here, um, just the first match, so much intensity, so much back and forth. I that was really a round one. <laughs> that was yeah. round one. Yeah. yeah, I know. That's a little. That's a little much. Oh man, such a crazy round one, but a good way to start things. I like when yeah. the sets are really energetic from the start. Not just a, a very slow slump, but it's it's such a, a great great display uh, of these two players. Uh, but Husk advancing through to the winners bracket. Yeah, and a great display of new talent that, you mm -hmm. know, we sometimes, that we get exposed to here at Xeno. I, this is the first time I've seen Husk and Black Mamba play. I believe Black Mamba has come in the past, but yeah, Husk's nest mm -hmm. was clean. Uh, yeah. Definitely vying for one of those top Xeno nest yeah, positions. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of them actually. I was, yeah. uh, the Mustard is another nest mm -hmm. main that mm -hmm. uh, comes through here. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Gact was actually Gact. here a couple weeks oh, ago, which okay, is okay. cool. But, but obviously Gact is not yeah. a local NYC, but uh, mm -hmm, it was cool mm -hmm. to see them here at Xeno. Yeah.